there is quite a few interesting twists and turns and revelations during the course of Venom Let There Be Carnage. The biggest one, of course, is during the post credit scene, where we get the giant bombshell that the Venom symbiote knows and can tap into the knowledge of the multiverse and can even give a piece of that info to Eddie Brock, which kind of explains why the symbiote is familiar with Spider-Man. When it comes to the post credit scene of Venom Let There Be Carnage, there's still a lot to analyze in regards to that scene. Now, it's specifically explained in the somewhat confusing dialogue what exactly the symbiote can do for Eddie Brock. And the symbiote at one point says, let's give him a taste. Meaning, it's talking to itself, but more than likely, somehow connecting to a hive mind. Now, of course, there is a thing like that in the comics that the Venom symbiote can communicate, sort of like the Borg from Star Trek, but in a only Marvel can do it type of way, if you will, which we're not going to talk about that here because that's not really what we need to talk about here because that's a little bit more complex. But essentially, here is the quote that the symbiote says, and I quote, 80 billion years of hive knowledge across universes would explode your tiny little brain end quote so right there is the key 80 billion years of hive knowledge across universes again take note of across universes this implying the multiverse multiple different universes that are existing so if you consider that and you consider how after they get zapped into the mcu once the sound tidal wave barrage earthquake thing hits them i still don't know how to describe that you if you see it you know what i'm talking about it's kind of confusing hard to explain but that explains why the venom symbiote this one specifically knows about spider-man it knows about it being an enemy because again follow along with me here the universe as we know it is only 13.8 billion years old. So how can the symbiote tap into 80 billion years of hive knowledge? The key is hive knowledge. It is a hive mind connected through, and I quote, across universes, aka the multiverse. So again, now we start to kind of understand what they're saying here and how the symbiote knows and can perceive spider-man as something that it knows that it exists and that it's an enemy because other symbiotes in the multiverse have fought spider-man aka eddie brock from spider-man 3 has fought spider-man therefore the hive mind the hive knowledge has been carried through the multiverse through the hive and it can tap into it and know the existence of it. So again, this is some pretty insane stuff, but it kind of does set up a, uh, you know, bigger knowledge of the multiverse for Venom at least. So when we eventually see the character in the MCU proper, it's sort of not a hard sell into why the Venom symbiote will know some of Spider-Man's weaknesses and things like that, and maybe even how to battle him to a degree. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is handled, but in that dialogue right there, I think it's pretty evident of what they're trying to say and how they're going to handle it. And the fact that the whole multiverse thing is going to be a big factor, probably bringing in Null as well, which again, would be kind of insane. 